Welcome back, everybody. We got ourselves a mail call today from Steve. I do believe I've been saying his name wrong. I feel terrible about it uh, because of uh, jo Swedish Swedish Johnny or Johnny Swedish Scrapper today did the mail call on him today, and he called him uh, Steve Straight. And I've been referring to him as Steve S R T eight. So sorry, <laughs> but I already opened this up because I've been super excited about this. Um, let's show you here. Oh, put a sticker on. All right. Um, he cut this out of a round piece of metal on one of his videos, and he called it the Scrappers of the Round Table, which I thought was cooler than heck because the people that we're, we're all together with are all great people. So I feel honored to be a part of that. But he cut this out, and immediately... I got on the comments, I'm like, because he said he was going to clean them up. I'm like, dude, no, 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 clean them up. I, I want it like this. It was raw. I mean, look at that thing. That is so cool. I don't know what side I like better, but he, he, he texted me and said that he could have fit my whole name, so he came together with the abbreviation for street and then copper, but it's a, it's a bottle opener, and he was afraid to sharpen, because he sharpens these things like razors. In his videos, he's throwing them at these stumps, and they stick no problem, but uh, I like it just the way it is. I mean, that sucker, it's just raw and cool, just like all of us are, so I really appreciate this, brother. I mean, this is, this is awesome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, in his just most recent video, he sent me these. And I'm glad he sent two sets, just in case I screw one up. Because I hate to do that. But he just did these out of brass. And I love the texture of this. I hope, that, I hope we can capture that in the sand. But he did this in brass. And... The most impressive thing about this video, and it's one of those moments that you go, darn it. Um, the, the, the valve was too big. I think it was a three inch valve that he got from his brother. He's a gas fitter. I'm a steam fitter. What a coincidence. But he, he got the valve and it was too big to fit in his crucible. So what he did is he, he got his, he got his uh, wood burning stove going. He warmed that thing up red, hit it with a hammer and it broke it into a little, bit, little bitty pieces. And I thought there, as soon as I saw that, I said, all the money I've spent on grinding wheels, cutting brass down. And that's what I could have done. That's why I like this guy. He he thinks outside the box. He makes things happen. He's, he's a metal caster. He does this stuff. I mean, in one of his videos, him and his buddy cut this big old tree down. And he they probably could have dropped that tree in between two Chicago houses. Beautiful landing on that tree. But this he's a very smart guy. And I appreciate his advice. We go back and forth with things. He does a he does beautiful castings. So we really appreciate this and thank you for the shot. I hope I really hope we can do as good as a job as you did. Um, we'll probably do one out of brass, one out of copper, if the first one goes good. <laughs> but let's put him up on the cabinet with the rest of the with the rest of other good folks, friends, family, good guys of YouTube. Everybody that helped me get started. Mm. Love them guys. He just put out some doggone videos about... He's been scrapping out panels. And I got three of them. He's got me all excited to get into mine. He does a good job. Boy, I'm, this thing's giving me the fits, ain't it? All right. We'll put him right next to Bigfoot and roll. That's a good looking sticker, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Man, I tell you what, I like that. But again, thank you so much, brother. I'm gonna, I think we're gonna mount that sucker somewhere up in here. Oh, somewhere up in here with uh, with Dan's thing. I was gonna hang up the plaque that, that uh, Scrap Man Dan sent, but I, I changed my mind. We're gonna put it up here. I mean that, God, I like that, huh? Man, I like it. So, thank you very, very much. And I hope you guys are having a great week. And I hope you continue to have a great week if you are. Thank you for watching. And we'll see you this weekend.